They've got routines. We have stick high fives that we do with players and they're good luck. We have this little Buddha and we rub its tummy and kiss its head. And they've got rituals. What does your quote say? It says, I am a member of a team and I rely on the team. All you guys have the stuff in your side? Yeah. 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 Welcome to the world of girls high school lacrosse. Beyond the spirit of the game, the level of play the last several years has spiked. And they're seeing it um, be competitive on the boys' side for years now, so they want to be good too. You know, they want to get out and showcase their talent. A lot of the players are committing now from this area to D1 colleges. 15, Jackie Gilbert, Amateur Valley. 13, Gabby Klein, Monta Vista. Both are headed to USC. This map shows the lacrosse hotbed, men and women, to be with its East Coast roots. But the gap is closing in that we're getting the best athletes out playing lacrosse. At the time of this game, three of the top five high school programs in the state are right here in the Bay Area. That's according to MaxPreps.com. And of those three, St. Ignatius, Monta Vista, San Ramon Valley, all three rank nationally in the top ten. Yeah, Taylor. Okay, so Anna just told me because I'm being face guarded, I'm going to start setting picks low. Number 11, Taylor Cunin from San Ramon Valley is taking her talents to UC Davis. There's a new wave of people coming in who have started at a younger age and choose lacrosse to be a commitment. We've been working really hard to be able to play against other teams across the nation and win. And we went out to the East Coast and beat a team on the East Coast. And that shows so much about the West Coast that we're, we're here, we're ready to play. 